Hey everyone, Jen Decker here with this week's edition of AEW Top 5. Saturday Night's Dynamite was action-packed with an absolutely gut-wrenching conclusion, but what moments truly stood out to you guys to become this week's Top 5? Let's dive right in. Kicking us off at number 5, this week we heard from both AEW Champion Jon Moxley and his opponent for his upcoming match at All Out, MJF. Mox said that he found MJF's campaign amusing, but that real competitors don't hide behind their words. So he begs the question, what's MJF hiding? If he is indeed the future of AEW like he claims to be, then maybe he should let his actions do the talking. The MJF campaign. It's been very amusing. It's fun TV. And MJF has said and will say a lot of bad things about me, but I'm used to it. I'm an easy target. Honestly, you miss most of the good stuff. What you should do is talk to my wife, because she'll give you like a two-page list of all my faults and problems. And you know, all that stuff doesn't really bother me, but I have to say, People who feel the need to just talk about themselves all the time really, really just kind of rub me the wrong way. Because where I come from, the toughest guys usually don't have to say much. They don't hide behind words. You talk a lot. Which makes me wonder, MJF, what exactly are you hiding? MJF thinks he's the future of this business, and I'd be hard-pressed to disagree with him. MJF is talented. So talented, so sickly talented in every way. He thinks he's the man to lead this company for the next 25 years, and I hope you're right, because I want this company to succeed for decades and decades into the future, and I want you to be the man, just like you say you are, to lead this company for the next 25 years. I sure as hell ain't gonna last another 25 years. The way I feel when I get up in the morning, I'm lucky if I get another 18 months. So I hope you fulfill all your potential. I want you to fulfill all your potential. And my money is that you will. One day you will move out of your parents' basement. One day you will lose your virginity. And one day you will become a world champion. But that day ain't September 5th. I'll tell you what's going to happen on September 5th. I'm going to beat the hell out of you. I'm gonna kick you and punch you and elbow you so hard, so many times. I'm gonna headbutt you right in the forehead. I'm gonna try to split your skull with my skull. Then ultimately, I'm gonna dump you on the top of your head. MJF, when your lungs are burning with exhaustion, when you're in a firefight, when we are deep in the game, I will be in my glory, I will be in heaven, but you, you will look for a way out. And the whole world will find out exactly what you've been hiding. MJF, of course, had a rebuttal, because he always does. Donning a neck brace and what appeared to be a Burberry walker, that's gotta be aftermarket parts, right? MJF called Dictator John a coward after the way Moxley assaulted him in the ring last week, and even his lawyer had some strong words for the AEW champ. Genghis Khan. Castro. Napoleon. All these men were homicidal maniacs and they all pale in comparison to Dictator John. Last week, John, you attacked me from behind like a gutless coward. Guess you're too afraid of me to try me from the front. John, I suppose you don't realize that your unwarranted actions have consequences. Look at me, John. Look at the state of me. Someday, I want to have a family, John, with kids. I'd like to play with those kids. Papa, Papa, can we play a game of catch? No, son, we can't, because Daddy's mangled. And that's all on you, John. The paradigm shift isn't a move, John. It's an abomination! God, Wardlow! Mr. Friedman really wanted to do this all on his own, but I'm going to have to continue. We have very important business to conduct here today. I'm his attorney, Mark Sterling. The first thing we want to do is put on record that we believe the paradigm shift, also known as the double arm DDT, is a dangerous move. And according to a few health professionals that I talked to last week, possibly deadly. I mean, that particular move almost ended this man's career last week, and, and the jury's still out. We have no idea. It could have. 
And if John Moxley can come out and just end anyone's career all willy-nilly whenever he wants, who's next? Wardlow? Gum guy? Nina and her beautiful smile? No. Think about your loved ones. And that's why last week we put a petition up online calling for the banning of the paradigm shift, also known as the double arm DDT. And wouldn't you know it? Five million signatures. Five million people that care about the future of this business. So myself and my law firm, we spent all week and we drew up this contract. Now this contract right here specifically states that the paradigm shift is banned from the AEW World Heavyweight Championship match at All Out between MJF and John Moxley. And all John has to do is sign it. And why wouldn't he sign it? He's a man of the people. He's a fighting champion. He's a badass. Why would a badass need one little move to beat one guy? And frankly, if he doesn't sign it, John, I'll sue your ass so hard you'll have to part your hair to poop. Don't test me. Don't test my law firm. We've never lost, and I'm not starting now. We'll take your money. We'll take your house. We'll take your cars. And then when you have nothing, Max will take your title. Sign it, John. Sign it. I'll fax it over. The ball's in your court. Sign it, John. Coming in at number four, after OC defeated Chris Jericho in their rematch, it appears that Champion will not sleep at night until he gets his rubber match against Cassidy. During this week's Dynamite, the two men join Tony Schiavone in the ring for Chris Jericho to issue his latest challenge, the Mimosa Mayhem match. What is that exactly? Well, so glad you asked. On Saturday, September 5th, revenge will be served freshly squeezed in the first ever Mimosa Mayhem match. What will happen when 80 gallons of 100% pure orange juice is mixed at ringside with 500 cases of a little bit of the bubbly? And the only way to win is by pinfall, submission, or being thrown into a tank of straight mimosa. The mastermind himself has done it again. The demo god of AEW wrestling, Chris Jericho, proudly presents the Mimosa Mayhem match. You'll have to see it to believe it. So there you go, Orange. Mimosa Mayhem, never been seen before. Only way to win, pinfall, submission, or by throwing each other into an 80-gallon vat of orange juice and bubbly. That's what I call a money-making match, Orange. The world is gonna wanna see it for the first time ever. So, I ask you this. On September 5th, at All Out, do you accept the challenge? Jericho versus Cassidy 3 in a Mimosa Mayhem match. Huh? Do you accept? Well, there it is. A rousing thumbs up. 80 gallons of orange juice and 500 cases of bubbly, or as my friends call it, brunch. But in all seriousness, these type of stipulation matches seem to be hand tailored to Chris Jericho's combat style, so Orange Cassidy better be ready to really try come September 5th. Occupying this week's three spot, it's Diamante and Ivelisse winning the Tag Team Cup Tournament. Since these two are paired up, they've had amazing chemistry in the ring and have shown a lot of promise here at AEW. The two veterans were incredibly emotional when they joined Medusa after their match for the presentation, saying that they did this for their legacy and their culture. Well, congratulations, ladies. Randy, nowhere to be found. She's on the outside, hurting. Oh, 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 oh QT Q Marshall. What in the world is he doing? Oh, oh no! Oh. Interference, what he's doing. Oh, my God. I mean, it, I, I get it, but... Get it down. Uh-oh. Double on the hooks here. Brandy's got her. Oh, oh there goes Brandy. Good job by Eva Lise. And Allie is completely isolated in the ring. And she's fighting her way back, though. At least trying to. For the second time, Calzadora into that. Oh, good job. Stunned her up right there. Snap it, roll through it. Oh! Hard shot. In the face. Watch out. Shoulders down. Legs over. Oh, 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 oh. That's it. Medusa presiding over the presentation to the champions. The 
this is great. Congratulations to Diamante and Ivalice. Wait a second. Oh, all right, got some attitude, I feel it. With some attitude, they got a lot of attitude. The AEW women's roster truly did bask in the spotlight this week as NWA women's champ Thunder Rosa arrived at AEW title in hand to issue a challenge to AEW women's champion Sheeta for All Out. For weeks, fans have been clamoring for these two to face off, and it seems only right that it would happen on such a legendary occasion. The fans have been asking for it. Social media has been asking for it. TNT and the AEW women's division not so much. Sheeta, I heard you, and I heard you really well. So if you don't know me, let me introduce myself. Women's World Champion, Thunder Rosa from the NWA. I come here to help you, no, to help me, to bring the women's division to the next level, to actually put it on the map and get some respect that we deserve. So on the pay-per-view, I don't come here just for scraps. I come here for your championship. So at All Out Cheetah, I have a request. Omaino, bere toga, hoshi. So you can understand me. And for all those that speak English and Spanish, vengo por el campeonato. I am here for this championship and nothing else. And finally, we've reached your number one moment of the week. There are moments in wrestling where you can literally feel the air sucked out of the room or that gut punch in your stomach. And Saturday's conclusion had fans, myself included, absolutely devastated when the American Nightmares title reign came to a startling end. Not only did Mr. Brody Lee defeat Cody in an efficient fashion with Cody getting in very little offense, but afterwards, the Dark Order ruthlessly attacked the rest of the Nightmare family. Cody's hands hanging down the side. He's still oh, oh, this is Inside out, upside down. He did it! Are you kidding me? Whoa! Are you kidding me? With this, Shivani comes the power. With this comes the say-so. Dark Order is at the top now. Well, we got problems here. This is more than we think here. Yeah, Taz. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cody's, Cody's in a hardly mood and in bad shape. Yeah, this People is. People like you, Shivani. Executives oh, like you created me. You held me down. You didn't give me a chance. But when I had the chance, what did I do? I knocked it out of the damn park. Thumbs, thumbs up from Cody. That's a good sign. It is a good sign. He's coherent and positive. A lot of the AEW staff on hand, led by uh, Dr. Sanson. Worried about it. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What's Doc Water up? They iron up Orn. On swing, put Orn. Oh, they go down without a fight. Wait a minute. This Arn Anderson being physically abused. Oh, my God. The second to the abdomen. What the hell? We need help out here. Dark Order is just. Cody's oh, no. What the hell? What are you guys thinking? Hey! No, no, no. no, 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 no. Some settlements of the order. Here. This is chaos. They're running off their sensor away. Yeah, this is this just this thing uh, just got really uncontrollable here. This is bad. The inmates are controlling the warden's office. Oh! <laughs> I can only assume what's in that bag. This is, he needs medical attention and in the, in the dark order intimidated doctor says he's gone. You made me people like you. Son of this is bitch. absolute tragedy. The new TNT champion. Look at this. They attacked Dustin too. QT in the back. They must have got the nightmare family being a. Foster children. Well, I, I, I gotta tell you, man, it might be a new day. Those grannies saying enough is enough. I just can't even stay in the back, to be honest with you. Trying to protect her husband. Stand by your man, as someone once said. Wait a minute. 
Let that, that's Anna Jay of the dog. Oh. Anna Jay. Oh. Anna Jay. Oh, gosh, she's got a rear naked choke. A choke on her. On oh, no. Randy. Randy is getting choked out. Much in the line of the leader of the dark corner, Brody Lee, the new TNT champion. This is the Choke her out. She choked Randy out. That beautiful young woman was nothing but a damn Jezebel. I have to tell you, JR, I think it's a new world here in AEW. The landscape has changed. Oh. That was, that's you, what he Cody. hit him with. That's what was in the bag, JR. The old TNT you to championship. It. That belt's yours. This one, this one, Cody, is mine. Guys, I'm simply at a loss for words. We are living in a new world, ladies and gentlemen, and that world belongs to the Dark Order. There you have it, guys, your top five moments of AEW Dynamite as voted on by you, the fans. If your moments didn't make the list, do not fret, there is always next week. As always, you can submit your votes to at AE Wrestling using the hashtag AEWTop5. Tune in this Thursday, though, for a special edition of AEW Dynamite where Dr. Britt Baker, Reba, and Penelope Ford will face Big Swole in a handicap match. Plus, the Natural Nightmares, Young Bucks, Best Friends, and FTR will compete in a tag team gauntlet match for a chance to face Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega at All Out. Plus, no table is safe from Matt Hardy and Sammy Guevara in a tables match. And finally, John Moxley and MJF will put pen to paper this week at their official contract signing ahead of All Out. All that and more coming at you next Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on TNT. Until then, be sure and keep up with us on all the social media accounts like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe and show your girl some love in the comment section. Till next time, I'm Jen Decker. Stay healthy, stay safe, and thanks for being a part of the revolution.